said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. And church, we're living, we've come too far. As Brother Corbin sung that song, I've come too far to turn back now. I've come too far to look back. I've come too far. We have come too far to play games with God today. We've, we've come too far. And, and, and I want you to understand that I, I talked a little bit earlier, and I'm going to talk it again for those joining by television right now. Because... I, I'm going to be noted, I'll probably go down in history as the most critical pastor or preacher that, that's probably hit Moore County. And people say, well, you're talking about God's anointed. No, I, I, I never talk about God's anointed, not intention. I, I'm talking about the false prophets and the false teachers, the false preachers. Because there's so many out here today that's delivering messages that are not of God. Check the reverb on my mic, if you will, because I'm getting a, 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 a feedback up here. Uh, what I'm going to say is this. If you want the truth preached to you, I'm talking to the congregations around Moore County, around the world, really. If you want the truth preached, go to church this morning and get the congregation together, get, get whoever you've got there, and just stand up and tell your pastor, you're no longer going to get a paycheck from the church. You're no longer going to get any benefits, financial benefits from the church. We want you to preach the truth to us. We want you to live like we have to live by faith. And then see how long that pastor stays at that church. If the pastor says that's quite all right, I'll stand and I'll preach the Word of God without a promised salary, without a guaranteed salary. And I know the Bible says the labor is worthy of the hire, of his hire. But what I'm saying is if you want the truth preached to you, if you want the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come down in your sanctuary, if you want the anointing of the Holy Ghost to guide and direct, you get the dollar signs out of the pastor's eyes. You get that paycheck away from him. And if he'll still stand up there and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and preach the blood of Jesus and preach that sin is wrong, then, praise God, you've got the anointing coming into your house. And that's what I'm trying to say, and that's what God is telling me to speak today. He's telling me to tell the congregations around the world uh, praise God if you want to know the truth uh, the truth will set you free uh, but let me tell you this a man that's blinded by the dollar signs cannot proclaim the truth uh, the man that's blinded by the Holy Ghost uh, uh, praise God will tell you the truth uh, the man that is filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and his eyes hallelujah are filled with the power of Almighty God uh, he will tell you the truth uh, but those that are looking for the dollar signs uh, those that are looking for paychecks uh, those that are looking for benefits uh, they're not going to tell you the truth why because they're afraid they'll drive you out but I'm telling you today uh, that in this last day uh, we better not be looking at the cares of the world uh, today we better not be having our minds uh, laid on the world of things uh, we better have our minds on Jesus uh, and you better know that you know that you know that you know uh, that praise God the word of God is the final thing uh, we've got pastors standing in the pulpit uh, and I mentioned this earlier in the service uh, they're saying that the, the baptism of the Holy Ghost is not for today uh, they're saying that the gifts of the Spirit are not for today uh, we've got churches all over the county that said it was for the early church. They're calling God a liar. They're calling God's word a lie. 
And I speak to you pastors that say that the gifts of the Spirit are not for today. I stand right here and ask you what verses do we throw in the trash and what verses do we believe. I'm telling you the Word of God tells me that God is no respecter of person and what He did for my brothers and sisters in the early church. He's doing the same for me. If He gave them the power, hallelujah, and don't give it to me, then He's a respecter of person. If He gave them the gifts of knowledge and won't give it to me, then He's a respecter of person. If He gave them anything that he won't give to me then he's a respecter of person and praise God I know that my God is not I know that I know that I know that I know you're looking at a Baptist preacher that's baptized in the Holy Ghost you're looking at one praise God that believes it all I believe the word of God and I stand upon it and let me say this, uh, you may not have it, uh, and you may not believe in it, uh, but I got it, uh, and I know that I got it, uh, and I'm not boasting in self, uh, I'm boasting in the Holy Ghost, uh, because I know that I know that I know uh, that Joanne there's something inside of me, uh, that when I come in the midst of the devil, when I come in the middle of a demon-possessed person, uh, when I come in his presence, uh, oh, let me tell you something, they go to quenching and they go to drawing up, why? Because they know, uh, they know that they know uh, that I I believe in this word of God. I believe in the Holy Bible. I believe every word that it speaks. I believe in, let me say this, this is one of my better ones. I praise God, it's got a cover left on it, on one side anyway. Somebody looked at it yesterday and said, boy, it's wore out. I said, no, this is one of the better ones. I just found it the other day. I forgot I'd put it up. But anyway, we got the word of God. And the word of God says that, praise God, in the last days, I'll pour out of my spirit upon my people and church we're living in the last of the last I'm living in the day hallelujah that I can see the devil everywhere he's in our government he's in our schools he's in everything that's out there but the children of God we have a promise that we're already overcomers we have a promise that greater is the power Greater is the force uh, that dwells inside of us uh, than that that can come against us. Uh, I'm telling you today, church, uh, and I said this the other day. I said this a while ago. I was talking to a pastor, and he's a good friend of mine, so I, I'm not going to call his name on television, but I was talking to him the other day. He said, how's things going? I said, well, I said, I got up in church and I told him to clean up or get out. And I said, half the congregation left. He said, oh, they did. And I said, yeah, they went to your church. <laughs> I said, they got, because let me say this. And, I'm, and I don't care if they're watching. I'm going to say this. You don't live with a person and sleep with a poor person and, and have sex with a person that you're not married to. And come into the house of God and say, "Oh, holy, holy, holy!" And talk, tell me how to how to to run a church. You don't come to me and tell me, praise God, when you're dwelling in sin day after day after day, and you come in here and make everything seem to be all right, and want to be a deacon of the church, and want to be doing these things. When I know that you're sleeping with a person that's not married to you, and you're committing fornication, and you're committing adultery, and you come in here and say, "Holy, holy, holy." It's it's not right. And praise God, if I have to preach to four bare walls, I'm going to continue to stand upon the Word of God. I can't live in sin and be blessed by God. And neither can you live in sin and be blessed by, be blessed by God. Praise God, it don't work. It doesn't work. And church, I'm going to tell you that you, if you're in here today and you're doing it, you're going to continually hear it until Jesus comes, because when I stand before him, if I know you're living in sin, I, listen, I don't know your lives. But if you're living in sin, God knows it. And if he reveals it to me, I'm going to tell you it's sin. If he reveals it to me, I'm going to tell you that it's wrong. And then you're going to have to deal with God. But let me get into the word here. Acts chapter 18. Many preachers today... Oh, Lord, I thought I was going to get into the Word. Many pre preachers today, I believe, and I can stand before the congregation. For those joining by television, this is the congregation in here. We're a small church, but praise God, we're big in power. Maybe small in number, but we're big in power. Why? Because we believe. 
the Word of God. And I can stand right here in front of the congregation, and I can ask the congregation, how many checks have you, how many salary checks has the church ever paid me in 20 years? How many checks have y'all paid me in 20 years? Absolutely not. Because God said, if you take money for preaching, I'll take your anointing. Now, I'm telling you that when we come into the house of the Lord, 